Hi guys, Andy here and welcome back to Anderland and here we are in our brand new area with a big pile of scaffolding in this, the air there and I set up a little camp just down here there's Bob sat there giving an plate of things here put a few things out um, came out here a few episodes ago and I decided to just get set up I thought oh it's been a nice little cave for going mining in and if you go down there it, it ends here <laughs> but what I might do actually, I might come down here with some TNT and see if I can blow out a, um, a pathway down here and we might create a little like a mine there that just comes around back this way but we can maybe turn this area into like a storage area for, the st for any sort of st the stone and building materials we have in the area excuse me, thank you brought some bamboo with me um, and maybe do something with that there, so that could be a possibility. So, plans for this area. Been having a look around the area. I need, I think, to have a bit of a clear out. Let's go up here and have a look. This scaffolding does make it very easy to look in the area and observe it from a height. The ocean is just over there as well. So we have two accesses to the ocean. And each time I look around I see something different which is really nice. So the way I've, I've been coming in, I think before I run the distance up. So I came in from that way. Come in and you go down this little pathway here and it's like the cliff down side which is quite nice. And I've got hill these hills from here and around there as well. And these hills also continue over this side and back around to here. So what I'd like to do is maybe use these hills as sort of like um, part of the barrier for this kingdom. To sort of like use it as a a way to determine exactly what... Oh, oh I meant to crash there. You know, the way, sort of like what the edge of this area is. So around there there's a gap. So I was thinking maybe have some sort of big wall with big gateway coming in out of the kingdom. Going out to there. Maybe have some farmland out of that way. And along the top there... And there is that sort of like the boundary. Now we can use the cliff sides as well to maybe build in some sort of housing and some, something into it. I'm thinking the sort of style I want to sort of go with around here is sort of like um, I'm trying to work out the best way to describe it. It's sort of like a a fantasy style build, and that probably doesn't make it very clear. But if um, bright and colourful type fantasy world, think of, um, for want of a better phrase, like the, the, the Disney princess type, things bright and colourful, maybe white walls and something like that. So a mixture, the walls could be like a mixture of quartz or concrete, white concrete powder, diorite could be used, like the diorite block in, I haven't, diorite, I haven't no, the diorite in um, Germs' pack, is like the stone block but white so things like that can be used to mix it in I need to clear out a lot of these trees in this area here just to give a better view of what I've got and I might take a lot of some of the trees up from up there as well but what I'm thinking of this was this was start getting me ideas from it's got this archway here put like a little tower or a tower up there and a tower up there, maybe these towers go overlapping down to the water, a bridge way across, and then the edge of this cliff face, and they build a w the wall for the kingdom on the top, and then in the cliff face we start putting like houses and the pathways on the outside, and then housing and stuff all in this area here, and the wall will continue around, the, say, big the big gateway in there, and then the walls will go all the way around that way, and like there to there, We've got the entrance in that way. And then this side, again, we've got a little pathway going out to the coast there. That could be maybe the main docks area. That could be like the, maybe another entrance in. To, got, I won't say two docks, but that seems the most obvious place for the docks for this kingdom as it's on the area. But then you look at the main gates, you could have the docks there as well. So, decisions to be made there. Maybe we don't go as far as there. We bring that around here and come back in this way and put like a gateway in there as well. I'm not sure what to do with the lake, how we're going to utilize that. I think it needs to be uh, dug out and dropped down maybe three blocks um, and then a, a set of flooring in it and do something that way but I don't know about that just yet. 
Um, so I think best thing for me to do now is to get my axe, uh, start clearing out a lot of these trees, and I might just clear out a lot of the flowers as well. Keep hold of them because I want to. I, I like the brighter colour of the area, and I want to keep that colour within the build. Um, so I have a lot of maybe colourful buildings. Um, maybe I've, right, I don't know if anyone's ever seen this such TV. It's a children's TV show in the UK. Um, I don't make it anymore, but there's still plenty of repeats on called Balamori, where all the houses are really colourful. It was filmed in uh, the Scottish island of Tobermory, and you have all these colourful houses everywhere. Maybe we consider something like that around here. Maybe the, 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 the landscape of the houses in this area are bright and colourful. Um, that could be one possibility. Here, a pig is still here. Uh, maybe we have to get him name tagged at some point. But that's that's what I'm thinking at the moment. So um, let me know your thoughts down below. Any ideas or suggestions? Uh, am I going way off track? Uh, have you got any ideas I can do to incorporate that? Something we can bring into it? There's some archways going through to there. There's some more flower points back there as well. Maybe we're bringing that. Um, but at some point, I think I'd like to take the pathway back a road from here back through the land over to Solis Island way um, and maybe incorporate some more kingdoms down that way so that's a possibility as well so for the time being right now uh, I need to get started in clearing out this area to get a better idea of the landscape and the lay of the land so I'll be doing that and um, I don't think I'll do it all in one go but I can start to do some of it and then we'll, we'll start looking at um, trying to get some building in I think I might start maybe with this archway or this wall down here uh, seeing what's what, but uh, I'll crack on and I'll come back to you once I've well, done something anyway, so I'll see you shortly. Alright guys, welcome back, and I've been busy and I've cleared out a large... Oh, you didn't down there. Oh, did you? <laughs> didn't even see him. I've cleared out a large area around here. I've still got some more back there to do and up here, but for the time being, that's fine. I've got a better idea of now of the landscape I'm looking at. That does lead back around to the ocean there. So, um... One thing you will notice is I'm no longer in Germany Boy's texture pack. I've got his better leaves on, which is probably the main reason I took his texture pack because I do love the different leaves and the different colours as well. But I was getting a lot and a lot of lag in my game. With So I thought the sun was setting. I get a lot of lag and it was really slowing my FPS down with his texture pack in. And then no mythical sausage had the same issue uh, when he started his season 2. Um, so at the moment I'm back in default um, and it's a lot smoother so I need to try and work out is it an issue with the texture pack or something else but we'll worry about that later. So um, I've tied a little bit up around here there were some lakes and dips and stuff like that there's a few more like these little gaps here just move this out a bit more I don't mind it being laid but I just want to get rid of all the, the dips and such. But this is it is really giving me some more ideas of what we can do around here. So I still like the idea of the fact that maybe I can have a dock over there and coming in that way is a possibility. But I'll go around there in a minute because that's where I'm going to be thinking about starting over there first. But this hill here, didn't quite realise sort of the height of it and going over with it. And I was kind of working out if we build sort of around here and we put the walls sort of this way and going around that way. Now if this is a quite this is quite a large area for a, like a town as such. No, I don't. Do I do, does it need, need a castle or does it need a, a, some sort of large residence for the the mayor or the, the the ruler of this area? So I'm thinking maybe with there, maybe take another couple of layers off and connect up with this somewhere I think around here and maybe build some sort of like large mansion or like a little tiny, a small castle. It's not a big area as such over that area there. So that's my plans there. Got some nice little through roots going out that way as well. We can maybe do something with as well. But it's definitely, it's like the little valleys in between here. It's definitely made it a lot easier to see now it's all clear. But let me go around the back there. I got halfway up and I caught the scaffolding with uh, my pickaxe and it all took it out from underneath. Sun's just about to go down. So around here, I've got these two. Can I have you? Thank you. There's a bit of a delay on this in fourteen one point fourteen point three. Anyway, 
got these two pillars here of stone and dirt. So I think this might go out to the ocean. I'm not 100% certain what we checked. But we've got these two here. And I'm thinking this could be like a nice gateway in. Because we could always take from over here. Get up here. Not been out this way to have a look yet. So we've got oh 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 oh! oh I didn't know that was there. I did not know that was there. Oh, we have neighbours. Anyway, I'll, um, right, yeah, we'll deal with them in a minute. Yeah, we've got all this area up around here, which I was thinking could be farmland. Um, maybe do some sort of like a farming community out here. So I'll have this like a little the uh, you know they get the uh, small slummy type towns that where the, maybe the poor people who can't go into the city gates live. It just go out to the ocean by the looks of it. Yeah, it just go out to the ocean. So that's, that could be a possibility. Maybe have, maybe have the port around here instead. What's the idea actually? We could have maybe the city gates there, like walls and pathway going across, and like an archway. Out here, docks. Have this as a. Oh god, there's a patrol there now. Uh, and have this as a docks here, and then maybe have some slums out here. This is. This is coming together quite nicely. I better go and deal with these idiots. Hello? Long range shot. And to see his head sticking up there. I've got my levels up. I went over to the skeleton farm. I wanted some bone meal. Now 1.14 you won't get the oh hi you you won't get the um what's it called the, the the axe guys vindicators in these patrols anymore which is good crossbow piercing one break well that's not bad so oh night is falling but yes I've got some give me some more ideas around here now um I just have to look around more and more. I get more and more ideas, which is really nice. So let me just go and sleep this night away. I'll have a little, little chat now a chat about blocks. And then I think we'll finish this episode off by going to visit our neighbours over there. Let's see if there's anything in that tower. I've not done with these before. All right, back in a second. Right, here we are. So these are the textures I was considering using. I'm, I might do some grey uh, like stone and stone bricking as well to blend in. But this is probably the biggest issue. Let me just go to Jamesy's texture pack. So if it looked like the diorite, it's got this brick texture, which is a lot nicer than the, the normal diorite pillar. That's normal quartz, quartz blocks, which again, it's like a, a cleaner version of this brick. Yeah, this is really, really jerky. I'm gonna look about to see if, that's, if there's any issues reported about this for this anyway. Um. And that's a far better choice of block than the normal polished diorite. Now, I think the polished diorite can still work, uh, but instead of being more of that, we might have to go more of the greys and just had the white as a more of an accent block into it. Um, we'll see. That must be the smooth uh, quartz, which I'm not that keen on, actually. It's, it's more like a... A very a, a pale stone texture but anyway uh, I need to look into the texture packs to find out what's going on regarding that I know B-Dubs is updating his texture pack and so um, maybe his is an alternative to use uh, we'll see but I think for the time being I might just have to stick with default uh, because it is very very jerky I, I went back to this texture pack it just crashed the game I reloaded it's still very slow so um, yeah, we'll see how we go with that. So I'm going to get the default back and then uh, I think we'll pop over and we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I'll get the default back on. Okay, here we are. Not sure how far they can appear. Outside of there. There's one guy that has a few over there. So 
That's tell. Oh, can I hit him over there? Oh, I've got a bit of lag. Oh, nearly. Long range shot. He just spawned in in front of me. Do they just keep respawning in? I, I, I don't know these operate. Dusty, I can see the leader. Is that another leader down there? He appears to have gone. Where's that? Are those crossbow guys? Do they have vindictors here? Vindic vindictors? Vindicators? Bad omens, anyone around here? No, I miss having full diamond. Uh, a bit of full diamond armor. Is that not the way in? Aha. Let's go that. Does not spawn in inside here. Loot! <laughs> Loot, wheat, potatoes, trip wire hook, bit of iron, and a bit of wood. I'll, I'll take it anyway because it's there. Ooh, nearly. So these guys seem to just keep respawning around here by the looks of it. First, right, you've got the enchanted one. Take you out. There we go. But yeah, they seem to be spawned. There's no wasn't any particular exci exciting in the loot there. Can I just come over here and just take a few of these out whenever I want? There's some more there. Don't hit the cow, don't hit the cow. Good. There's another one Let's just keep respawning inside like constant supply of in uh, villagers. Is there any more over this way? Nope. There's another one respawned over there. Ah oh well. There's another one here. That's it, that's, there's nothing much else to these towers. Have I missed anything? If I have. Let me know, but I'm going to head back off into my area to find a bed. So, but... Oh, go away, follow me now. Ooh, crossbow.
but I've got some levels up now. Um, got the fun skeleton form, so I'm going to do some enchanting with that. Uh, maybe I've got enchanted <coughs> a crossbow. There's a creeper over there. And a skeleton. Why well, I'm now stuck in the middle of a field in the night time. I'm just going to take this creeper out. But if you enjoy the video, oh, lag. Oh, the delayed death. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you know anything about the texture pack issue regarding the lagginess, let me know. Uh, ideally, I would like to keep using that because I, I did the whole Solace Island based on that texture pack. Um, I don't know if it's an issue just with my computer. Oh, hello. Creep of it, two of you. I'd say I don't know if it's an issue with my computer or is it just gem wise most people have that one so I did see mythical have an issue with it and then you started season two but let me know down in the comments below but until then thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode bye bye